We are the cutie mark crusaders on a quest to find out who we are and we will never stop the journey. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't see you guys there. Uh, were you walking in on that? Uh, I, I wasn't singing. I was definitely not singing the CMC theme song. Uh, uh, let's get right into the episode. Hey everyone, Mayhem here, coming to you with another episode of Mayhem's Equestrian Reviews, where today we'll be reviewing My Little Pony, Friends of His Magic, Season 1, Episode 18, The So Stopper. So now we'll do a brief plot synopsis of the episode. So it starts off with the CMC, uh, and they decide to go on a little trip, uh, well, first they get a treehouse from Applejack, and it's a giant, basically a load of dookie, uh, giant pile of crap. It's fallen apart and everything from disrepair and stuff. It's pretty unfortunate. But what happens is, uh, they, uh, well, Applejack, no, Apple Bloom completely fixes it up and makes it, like, perfect again. And then the Cutie Mark Crusaders decide to go on a trip around Ponyville, going to a bunch of different locations to test out their, uh, abilities, uh, well, and see if they can get a Cutie Mark. Long story short, they don't. And they're really discouraged. But Twilight Sparkle says they need to and not try new things and see if it works. What they need to do to get their cutie marks is they need to uh, do what they love and what they're good at. So the cutie mark crusaders uh, are thinking about that. And Sierra Lee, their teacher, comes up and offers them a flyer to a young, uh, like a competition. It's going to be the talent show at their school. So they decide to start practicing, and they start practicing and practicing. Now, this is the point when you think they would start to do uh, show off their talents, but they uh, mess up because they're kids. Well, everyone knows that uh, Sweetie Belle's talent is singing, as shown in the last episode and shown in this episode, also songwriting. But she decides that she wants to be like her big sister, and instead design clothes instead of doing any of the singing because she says she's not that good of a singer. Now, Scootaloo, her talent is stunts and stuff, so she should do the choreography, but Scootaloo's like, no, that's boring. I want to sing so the song, uh, write and sing the song, which is obviously Sweetie Belle's talent, uh, but Scootaloo does it. And Apple Bloom, she's the best at construction, so she would be the best to make the sets but she's like, no, I want to be a dancer. And she doesn't know how to dance, so she decides, I'll just do kung fu instead. hi ya 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 Needless to say, it doesn't really go all that well. Uh, they end up helping each other. What happens is, uh, Sweetie Belle ends up helping Scootaloo write the song. Uh, Scootaloo helps uh, Apple Bloom learn to dance. And Apple Bloom helps out... A well, she doesn't really help too much with the sets. That's kind of like the weakest bond of the three. But there is some helping. Uh, and so they decide to do their competition. Now, for, they go to the talent show. First, uh, Snips and Snails, the worst characters in the entire show, use uh, their... Uh, you do a magic show, which goes kind of bad when Snails... When, yeah, Snails eats the carrots. Oh, I hate those characters. Just get rid of them, Hasbro. Get rid of them. La, 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 la. Then a second competition goes on. These two people, I don't know uh, who the first one's name is, but the second one is Peachy Pie. They go on and I'm not quite sure what they do. I can't remember, but they're pretty good. And so then the Cutie Mark Crusaders go on. And let's just say it all goes pretty horrible. The sets fall apart. Uh, Scootaloo sings horribly. The sets fall apart. Uh, Apple Bloom messes up with dancing, and it just all goes horribly. And so the Kitty Mark Crusaders are upset, and they think they're going to get laughed at, because at the end of the song, the entire town, like, the entire crowd are just absolute douchebags and just laugh their heads off at them. Now, that's pretty cruel. Uh, that, that's really cruel. I, that made me angry. That was, that was kind of cruel. But they go out. And everyone's getting their awards. Snips and Sales win Best Magic So. P.T. Pie and her friend win something I can't quite remember. Though I really like that P.T. Pie character. I wonder if she knows Pinkie Pie. But then, the final award comes. And what's gonna happen? 
it turns out that the CMC win the prize for best comedy, and which really sucks them because they did not think that they were gonna win or saying everyone laughed at them, but it's because everyone thought it was a comedy because they just failed so much. And so they're really happy. Twilight Sparkle asks if they've learned anything. And they say, yes, we've learned that we should not try, like, things that we don't know. We should really try the things that we love because they'll be our special talent. And Twilight's very proud of them. And she's like, and those are? And then the CMC's like, comedy! And uh, Twilight practically face palms, but she's okay with it because they're immature little kids. Uh, and they don't understand that their real talents are the things they're best at. And, yeah, so that's a whole plot synopsis for this episode. So what did I think about this episode? This episode was really good. The thing that made me really like this episode was how they improved the mistake of the last episode. My favorite thing, uh, I hate it when an episode kind of isn't, uh, well, has mistakes, but I absolutely love it when in the very next episode or in the future episodes, they fix the mistake that they had. The mistake in Stairmaster was it was kind of helping to establish the CMC, but it mostly established them as a group, not as individuals. It didn't really give them individual personalities other than the fact that Sweetie Belle could sing and that Applejack and Scootaloo bicker sometimes. Other than that, there was pretty much no character building on them. But that was completely changed in this episode. In this episode, the uh, it, it was almost completely dedicated to showing them as their individual selves, which worked really well. We really got a look into the mind of who the CMC was. We learned who Apple Bloom was, who Scootaloo was, and who Sweetie Belle was. And it was just really good. And the episode itself was pretty funny. I hear a lot of people consider this to be a really bad episode, but I don't see why. It really built upon the characters of the CMC, and it was really funny, especially the show. The show wasn't even really half bad. Everyone regards it as being super awful, the show that they do. But when it comes to my personal opinion, it wasn't actually that bad, especially at the beginning. At the beginning, it was almost good. It kind of went all haywire at the end, but it actually could have gone a lot worse, especially in the beginning. It was pretty good in the beginning. And uh, it was just a funny thing. A major thing that I'd have to point out is a total, like, uh, error that the animators did, a uh, continuity error. Now, if you look in this shot right here, you see how the uh, fabric, Sweetie Belle's fabric, falls into the water. Now, get a good look at that. Now, since it's in a roll, how you'd imagine it would look is like stri vertical stripes, dry, wet, dry, wet, dry, wet, if you spread it out like uh, like a towel or something. If you spread it out to hang it up, it would probably be multiple stripes, dry, wet, dry, wet, dry, wet. But in the actual thing, when they pull it out, it's just the top is entirely dry and the bottom is entirely wet. Now, this, would, uh, this does not really make any sense. I've never seen anyone point this out, but it kind of got on my nerves because I really like things to be, eh, I'm usually quite a perfectionist when it comes to these kind of things. Uh, because if it went in horizontal like it did in the axle so it should be vertical stripes. It would only be top half dry, bottom half wet if it had gone in vertically halfway. Which is definitely not what happened. So that's a little continuity error right there for you. Now, most of this episode, well, more about, like, three to four minutes of this episode was taken up by a montage of the Cutie Mark Crusaders attempting to find their special talent before they decide to enter the talent show. Now, this would usually be a minus because uh, usually a montage is usually used as a waste of time to distract the audience and use as filler time. But I think in this case, it actually works. The episode, uh, the montage is actually quite... Uh, a good pacing to it. It's not slow, and it's not really super repetitious, and there's actually some good uh, physical comedy during that uh, montage, so I think it actually works. And with the montage song, I was really surprised at the song because I've listened to a lot of, like, Pony Re uh, Brony reviewers and stuff before, like the Brony Nosa and Can Cream and stuff, and I've always heard that song in the background. Da, 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 now, I'd always, when I first heard that song, I had thought that it was just like maybe a little like royalty-free song somewhere on the internet. 
But then I noticed, like, almost in, like, the only people who used it were Brony reviewers, and it was actually used quite frequently. It wasn't just, like, one person who found a royalty song on the internet. So I uh, figured that it was from an MLP episode, and it was from this episode, Dream the Montage. Now, this really surprised me, because I did not expect the song to appear in this episode. So it kind of caught me off guard, but I was like... Oh, that's where that song is from. So that was a nice surprise. I really like that song. It's, it's a pretty good song. You must admit it's a good song. Uh, and one of the best parts about this episode was the portrayal of the CMC. Not only were they shown as individuals, they were also shown as actual children. And a, a problem I have with a lot of CMC episodes that I remember is the fact that uh, the problem is is that they usually act a little mature for their age. They act a lot like the main six, at least in later seasons. But in this, they act very childish. They are really believable as actual children. I can really believe it. Like, they're immature. They get things wrong. They bicker. They uh, they help each other out. They use childish language, like how Scootaloo was saying that, yeah, well, Sweetie Belle is like, Scootaloo, how's the song going? And Scootaloo is like, oh, it's totally... <laughs> And that's something a child would do usually, not as much an adult. Uh, so I'd say that they're really doing good at portraying them as kids. That's another thing I really love about this show, is the character portrayal. It is really good a lot of the times. Usually they portray, portray the character, how it's meant to be portrayed. They don't screw it up very often. It's just really nice seeing them as kids uh, and not like... Uh, acting like adults a lot. And that really culminates in the ending, where in the end, uh, Twilight shows that it, she realizes that they have learned their lesson, that they should do things they love, but kids will still be kids, and they're still very childish, so they think it's comedy because they won a comedy award. Uh, and everyone knows from watching the show that it should be, uh, well, what the kitty mark should be, um, uh, emphasis on should, uh, should be, uh, for Sweetie Belle singing on, like, maybe a microphone. Apple Bloom saying to do of manual labor because he did really good building the treehouse and stuff. And Scootaloo, like, uh, something physical like a scooter because at the beginning of the episode it had a whole, like, mini montage of her, uh, scootering along the road, uh, and doing some really sweet tricks. Now that I think about it, there's, like, two montages in this thing. A montage of her running and uh, scooting, which is only, like, 20 seconds long, and the whole uh, cutie mark hunting montage. That's a little odd, because the show is, has very few montages. That just came to mind literally as I was recording. But it overall, it's a good episode. Now, what would I rate this episode? So when it comes to the actual rating of the episode... I would have to say it is better than Stairmaster, in my opinion. It's going to be a bit controversial because I know a lot of bronies consider this to be a mediocre or bad episode. But I think, like, the comedy, it kept me laughing more than Stairmaster did. And it was, like, it character-wise, it was gold. It was really good. I can't, uh, it had the montages, so I can't justify giving it a super high thing, but I can't justify giving it any, it, I have to justify giving it higher than a Stairmaster, because it is better than Stairmaster in my eyes. It's no perfect episode, but it's good, and for that, it earns 4.25 out of 5 stars. What do you think of my review? Do you think it was good? Do you think it was bad? What did you think of this episode? Leave a comment in the section below, so I know what you think. Next time, I'll most likely be reviewing another episode, episode 19. I really can't wait. And until next time, I'm Mayhem, bringing you Mayhem's question reviews. And goodbye!